everyone. Don't mind my hair. I just took it out of a ponytail, so it's got a little poof going on. Um, so I made a video yesterday, and my computer's gonna die, so I'm gonna try and make this really quick. Um, I might have to transfer rooms and flick lights on and all that junk, but I made a video yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to post it. So I'm gonna recap my yesterday day and today. So yesterday, I had an awesome day that started off with, um, I hate that you see the computer screen, but um, it started off with I let a woman go in front of me in Dunkin' Donuts because I had been addicted to um, large iced coffees lately. So I let a woman go in front of me at Dunkin' Donuts and she bought me a coffee. So I decided to pay it forward and buy the woman behind me a coffee. So I hope it went farther than just the person behind me, but who knows. Um, but I figured... Why not? So that's what I did. So I wanted to talk about that because it just made my day and I was like really pumped about it and I was hoping to make someone else's day because it was just a really sweet gesture. So that happened. I had a crazy busy day with incredibly long meetings and um, my life has been nuts. Absolutely freaking nuts lately. Um, I've been at my new position for a week and um, I have taken on a lot and it's amazing. I'm in a completely different mindset than what I was before. It was the best decision I've ever made. I'm in charge of huge programs. Um, I'm really excited about my future now and all that junk. So, um, if you guys didn't know, I do direct mail marketing for nonprofits. Um, so any fundraising stuff, I do that. So, um, that's what I do. And so now I'm an account executive. Um, and I'm really pumped. I love it. So anyways, I've been crazy busy. So yesterday flew by because I had three and a half hour meetings. I'm like on crack right now because I just ate espresso beans before I came home. And um, so yeah, so then I'm driving home and I'm like listening to Rihanna and I got the, my, the window down. It was a beautiful day. My hands at the window, like doing my little roll and lights go on behind me and I get pulled over. So I wasn't speeding or anything. It was actually my pure stupidity. Um, I had some things expired. Um, because they've been so busy, I totally forgot to do things. So um, luckily he was really nice and I got to drive home and do everything. So I had to do that. So that was my yesterday. In addition, I cycled a 34 and I still didn't get my period. So I called the RE and I asked, well, I said, you know, I was supposed to call you last week to start my IUI cycle, but I'm not getting my cycle back. Um, so I was like, what, what do I do? I'm like, it totally sucks. Like I'm pissed. And she was really awesome. And I love my nurses there. She, it was funny when I called, she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't have my cycle. I'm like every month something happens and I'm bummed and I'm not bummed. So I'm really bummed because I was really pumped to start the cycle. I'm not bummed because I have a wedding in, well, I go away in like three weeks and then I have a wedding the following weekend and it will just be nice to go out and have a great time with friends and not have their kids really, um, involved and also to, um, sorry, it's my cat, just be able to drink. I know that sounds really stupid, but it will just be nice to have time to be an adult. And I'm excited about that. And I'm excited to go away and be able to be an adult. So it might be my last time to be an adult in that kind of fashion. Um, so that's why I'm okay with it. But she said, we have two options, but first things first, we're going to send you for blood work. So I went for blood work this morning and an inspection sticker. <laughs> and I got my results back this afternoon. And my estradiol was a 41.3. My progesterone was a 1.3. And my HCG was a zero. So I'm not pregnant, everyone, <laughs> um, unfortunately. But um my numbers also coincide with the tail end of a cycle or the beginning of a cycle. So, um, I don't think I'm going to get a cycle this month at all. I really honestly don't. And so the plan is to call back in a week. If I don't have a cycle, they're going to put me on Provera to jump a jumpstart cycle. My thoughts are the last time this happened, I got my period when my next cycle would have been due anyways. So I called them to see if, I 
maybe don't do the Provera and see if I ovulate this month. Um, and just do it naturally, I guess, and see if my period does start for next cycle and go from there. So that would put us at June, like, 7th or 8th, I think my cycle would be due. Um, if we counted Monday as cycle day one. Because um, I'm at cycle day three lab-ish, I guess, kind of. So what would be typical for what they tested me for? So, yeah, so that is where I'm at. Um, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm in a much different place than I was on Monday. Um, and I'm going to cry because I'm an emotional person and I do that a lot. So all my new subscribers, I'm really sorry about that, but I cry a lot. Um, but I, I just feel good about my future and I feel like, you know, I get moments where I, I get fearful and I wonder, maybe we will have to do IVF if we're not getting pregnant on our own and IUIs don't work, but I'm just not going to go there right now. And, um, I think passing the birthday, what would have been the birthday, um, was like a final closure of that chapter of my life and I am okay with it and I'm done and I am ready to move on. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just had an amazing weekend with my husband and oh, I don't want to cry. This is why I think I'm going to get my period because I'm like even extremely emotional. But we've, I know a lot of YouTubers have talked about this. I know Waiting for Baby Teeter brought this up with her five questions where we lose ourselves and our relationships with our spouses, especially when you get to the length of two and a half years of trying. And, um, with, well, it's, yeah, it's two and a half. I'm going to tell you that we started trying before we got married because we did. We knew we were going to have issues, so we just, if it happened, it happened, but it didn't happen. Like, we weren't trying, trying, but we were. And our two-year anniversary is coming up, and, um, you know, it's just, it's sad. Um, You know, my husband's turning 30. It's our two-year anniversary. I'm going to be 27. I never thought that by the time I was 27, I wouldn't even be pregnant. I thought I'd have two kids by now, especially how my relationship went. Um, but anyways, um, I figured I would at least be pregnant with the second, um, by now. But I, anyways, to get back to the whole point, my husband and I had a great weekend. We didn't fight, which has been fabulous because, I think for so long we've been both so sad that it's just we take it out on each other and it was so nice to just not worry about it and go out and have an awesome dinner and have tons of wine and um have a great time and and it felt so freaking good and I feel so freaking good for once and I hate crying to my computer, but I just feel good. I feel, I feel heavier. I will say that <laughs> I haven't had time to exercise, but I feel great with my career. And I'm finally at a point where I feel like I could be a working mom. Like it's the first time I've ever been in a position where I feel like I don't want to give up my work anymore. I love my work. I love what I'm doing now. Um, I mean, that may all change when I finally have a kid, but, um, my career is good. My relationship with my husband is getting better. My relationship with my family is great. Um, my relationship with my friends is very far and few between. And I feel like that event, I think that will work itself out, um, eventually, but right now we're just on two different levels and, you know, they have toddlers and kindergartners, and I just don't fit into that life, and I don't know what it's like to be up all night, and I don't know what it's like to change diapers, and I don't know what it's like to potty train, and we're just on separate, um, 
pages right now. So I think that eventually either they'll come around or we'll have kids. Um, but right now we just don't have a lot in common. And I know that sucks and we're, they're here for me, but they just have their own shit going on. So, but I'm okay with that. Like, I just am so excited to be where I am mentally with the miscarriage and where I am mentally with the infertility and where I am mentally with my relationships. And, um, I am just very excited for the summer and I think there's a lot of good things that are going to come out of it. And I am so ready to jump back into IUIs and I'm going into it in a completely different mindset. I know what to expect. I don't know what to expect from the injectables, um, but watching a lot of women that have been doing it with IUIs or IVF um, has comforted me a lot. So watching a lot of that has definitely made me more comfortable, but I just feel... I feel ready and I'm okay with my cycle being late and I think it's a sign for me to get my ass back in gear and start eating right and all that junk because I have not been very good lately. Um, so yeah, so that's my update. I've had a crazy good week since Monday. Um, you know, I didn't get the best news today because they could have said that we could have just started an IUI, but that's just not where we're at. So, yeah, I'm okay. So, on another note, I wanted to say, I don't even know, I haven't even been on YouTube yet today, so I don't even know, like, what if there's been more updates. Let me just go through here before my, my phone dies, my computer dies. So, congratulations to, well, Kyle and Jess P are pregnant with twins, which I'm so excited for them. Crystalline went for her egg retrieval today, I think. I think it was today. I don't know, but she's doing IVF. Um, do, 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 do. Kyle Lara, 